Happy Valentine's Day, you all, and a big shout out to our Kanaka Maoli relatives out in the Hawaiian Islands who on this day, February 14th, 1779, killed British colonizer Captain James Cook. Cook brought nothing but disease and violence to all the islands he encountered. Our native Hawaiian relatives greeted Cook with nothing but compassion and love, but they soon realized, like all colonizers, he had a hidden agenda. These colonizers were a threat to Hawaiian sovereignty and freedom. Cook and his men brought nothing but hardship to every corner of Polynesia. On his third trip to the Hawaiian Islands, Cook attempted to detain a Hawaiian leader, and it didn't go so well. Our Kanaka relatives swiftly took action and sent Captain James Cook to the afterlife. It's a fantastic story. In the face of adversity, Native Hawaiian strength was unwavering. They stood firm in their defense of their aina and culture. Their legacy of resistance and unity is a testament to the true meaning of aloha aina, love for the land. So this Valentine's Day, let's celebrate the greatest gift of all, our enduring spirit. By honoring our past and embracing our future, we pay tribute to those who fought with love for indigenous independence. So let's commemorate this day, this day that our Kanaka relatives killed Captain James Cook, and let's show love for our communities and all our relatives. So happy Valentine's Day, and let's cherish the gift of unity and resilience, not just today, but every day, for the love of our sacred homelands and our cultures. Okay, we're gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna begin a statement and you're going to finish it. Indigenous love is, please let me know in the comment section. 